In this video of techniques, tips, and tricks, I'm going to show you how to make your own foam flocking. The foam we will be using is Simple Poly Foam Pads. These are very cheap. You can get them at any fabric store or hobby store that sells fabric. I got two 12 by 12 inch and one inch thick pieces at Hobby Lobby for $3. And this makes heaps of flocking. You'll want to start by cutting one inch wide long strips and then cut those into one inch cubes. You'll want to place those in your blender. I am using a food processor piece for my blender, but the blender attachment will work as well. Here you can see me placing just the foam in the blender, which will not work. It is too lightweight to get pulled into the blades. So all you need to do is add some water. As you can see, the foam is blending nicely now and into some good flocking. If you aren't getting full blending on the foam, just add more water. I tend to blend it a bit and then stop it to check the size and blend again if needed. So do this until you get your desired size of flocking. Next, you'll wanna take a wire strainer and pour the flocking into it to get rid of the excess wire by squeezing the flock in your hand. After doing this, the foam will still have a lot of water in it. So take some paper towels, pile the foam in it, and then wrap it up and squeeze the water out into a sink. I do this a second time with a new paper towel to ensure that I get as much water out as possible. Once it is mostly dry, you can take it and push it through a wire strainer again to get some smaller foam pieces. These smaller pieces are great for making flowers, while a larger flock is good for trees and bushes. Now it's time to color the flocking. You'll want to use acrylic paints with really high pigment. I'm using the Vallejo miniature paints here, but others work fine as well. If you use cheap paints, you won't get good saturation with the color. Mix your desired colors and add some water. Mix in your flock and stir it up until you get full coverage. If you have too much paint, you will need to add more flocking. If you have too little, you will need to add more paint. Mixing small flocking in small batches like this can be a little more tricky than bigger flocking in bigger batches. It really just depends on what flocking you're making. I needed a few larger batches of large green flocking and a bunch of smaller batches of flocking in a variety of colors. The easiest way is to color a large batch, let it dry, and then push it through a strainer to get the finer, smaller flocking. To mix larger flocking, I like to mix it in plastic cups. Premix your paint and take a stirring implement and stir in the flocking like so. If your flocking is getting good color but still looks really, really wet, you could likely add some more flocking and still get good coverage. Just be sure to do this incrementally as to not run out of paint. Once you are finished, spread the foam out as thinly as possible on some plates or a flat pan and let them sit out to dry. And that's it. Now you have your own flocking. The best thing about making your own flocking is you can make your own specific colors in whatever quantity you like. Also, it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Thank you so much for watching this techniques, tips, and tricks video. If you want to watch more techniques, tips, and tricks videos, be sure to check out the series on my channel. Subscribe for future videos like this and other cool projects that I'm working on. Thanks, and I'll see you later.